Okay guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video of me showing you uh, some tips, hints and style upon Jam, uh, not Jam Legend, upon um, Windows Movie Maker. This is aimed for a friend, this is the third time taking it because I'm trying to get um, as much as possible in under 10 minutes, um, which probably will actually happen. Okay, very quickly, um, as fast as I can. I'm on XP. It looks like Windows XP, a uh, Vista R7, but it's actually XP. Um, now, as you open Windows Movie Maker, depending on what paint system you're on, you'll be comfortable by three or four things. If you've got Movie Maker tips, click on the arrow for that. You don't want that open, and you don't want Finish Movie open. You only want Capture Movie and Edit Movie. Um, very quickly, Capture Movie from Capture for Video Advice. Ignore that. I'm not going to go through that today, and I'm not going to go through Make an Auto Movie um, either. Shell collections is just something that's already there. Um, so yeah, okay. Another thing, um, unfortunately, XP doesn't allow you to import more than one clip. So if you're on Vista R7, Windows Movie Maker will allow you to put import more than one um, thing. So for example, I can import these two in one. On XP, I can't do that. I'll have to do that one and then that one. Okay, so that's pretty much basic. Um, done. Um, so to import a video, click on import a video, find a clip, click import. I'm not going to do it now because I've already got some stuff ready. Uh, click, do the same thing. If you want to do it for the same thing for pictures and audio music, just click pictures, import, done, simple. Um, and audio music, obviously audio and music. Um, so that's pretty much it for capturing video. You really, there's nothing else to that. You capture videos, just basically get everything, like, everything you want in the video here. Um, edit movie is everything to do with edit movie, obviously. Um, <laughs> top four um, options are the ones you want to pay attention. Making an auto movie, don't bother. I don't really know why they've got it even there, because I don't think anybody's actually going to use it. Anyway, show collections, you already on, because obviously that's the stuff that show collections is basically everything you've got open at the minute to allow you um, to make a video. So this is my collections. Video effects, transitions, and make in making titles or credits that's what we're going to be going through now so the effects you can access the effects by going, clicking on there and you've got a load here or you can go onto the video itself you can right click and click on video effects this is the easiest way i would recommend this any day scroll up and down you've got a load of uh, video effects for now i'm just going to sit with two or three so we'll go away film older uh, Mirror, horizontal, and uh, say post. Uh, no, rotate 100 degrees. So I'm gonna add. You've got to actually add it as well. I made this mistake doing that. Where was the other one? Uh, so mirror, hori horizontal, and older. Add. You have got a lot of others like speed up, double, threshold, um, blur, all sorts of stuff. But I'm just doing it with these for the time being. Click that. You've got all that. Press play. And that's what your outcome is. So yeah, right click, video fade. Yeah. Video effects, remove, remove, remove. Bit of a shortcut, if you want to have your clip fading, right click on the video and click fade in or fade and fade out or whatever. That's just a shortcut for your fades. That's your video effects, pretty simple. So I'm going to really quickly just add an extra video effect, just one, just a little blur, just to show off and what I can do. So that's basically your video effects. You can do that. You can add up to six maximum video effects. I don't know why, but six maximum video effects on any clip um, at all, and that will work. Next up, video transitions. You've got a load here. You can't access these by clicking right, right clicking on the thing. You've got to click on here. Okay, so I want, for example, um, my clip to shatter in for the next clip, and then page curl for the next clip. So shatter in. If you click on it and click play, or just click on anywhere, it should it will give you an example. Unfortunately, you can't have these at the beginning of clips. It's only the fade in and fade out that will allow you. Uh, it will allow you to have at the beginning of one clip and the end of one clip. But you, for the rest of the transition, it's got to be between two clips. So I'm going to shatter in at the beginning, and then I'm going to add the page curl up right on the next clip. So let's click there. Press play. And three, two, one, shatter. Click over here. Three, two, one, paste clip. So that's basically the transitions. Just 
flick around and see what you can find. You can do all sorts. They have vertical wheel spokes, stars, reveal rights, uh, rolls, pixelates, keyholes, hearts, fans, diamonds, circles, and uh, bars. And there's all stuff like that. So that's basically video effects. Unfortunately, as I said, uh, you've got all these. These are transitions going to go between two clips. Um, if it's after one clip or before one clip, you've got to right-click on it and you can only have fade out or fade in, unfortunately. So I'm going to give those, for example, fade in and fade out. So there's your clips, basically. Um, so I've edited all these except for clip four. That's the only thing I haven't really edited at all. Um, it looks edited now, but that's actually just that one. Uh, anyway. So then, um, another thing I forgot to mention, if you start off like this, you want to click up here, show timeline, um, that's the option, that's the best option, show storyboard is just gay, I guess you could say, it's just not worth it, just stick to timeline. If you want to zoom in or out and your clips at any point to expand on something, click the arrow, the, the plus on the magnifying glass to zoom in, the minus on the mag magnifying glass to zoom out, simple. And that's your audio levels. I'm not going to bother going through that because I never touch them. Um, so don't bother with that. And that's your narrate timeline. I don't even touch that either. Um, I tend to just uh, click on here for volume. Yeah. And that for the... Uh, and other music for volume. Yeah, just stuff like that. Okay, so how do you make titles and credits and everything? Click on titles and credits. All these will pop up. It may take a couple of seconds to load sometimes. I don't know. So I'm going to make a title at the beginning. Um, so I'm gonna say hello. This is a batch of Jam Legend vids. Just pretty short and simple. Just get out of the way. Okay, so that's already done something I was uh, doing earlier on. So you can get different eff um, effects for this thing. If I go back, um, that's basically what you can type in. You can also just put that down here, which is added down there. I'm not gonna go into that. I'm gonna go to this stuff. So I can change title animation by going here. That will give me a load. Spelling titles, fly, flying fades, uh, paint and drip. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, other stuff with loads. And then if you want to go back to your to edit title text, you can go back to it. Do whatever you want. It can change depending on which uh, animation you go for. But anyway. And to change text and font colour, you just go here. I'm going to keep it as it is, but you can go through all these kind of stuff here. Change the colour of your background by going on the right colour. And the left colour with the A on top of it is your uh, font colour. Transparency, obviously, will make it so it looks see-through. They're not going to have 100% obviously because there's no point having text in there if you can't see it. So, it's 0-9%. It's and to, if you want to you make, make your text smaller, you can click this button here. Uh, the A down or the A up to increase text size yeah done and then you click done and tap to move it once you've done um, now if I zoom in here you can't actually make this um, fade in so if I click fade in the start fades in blast at you and then I can also click fade out for it to fade out so I'm going to stick with fade in for the time being and zoom out ok so that's basically so far what I've done um, if, for example, you want to make a title be um, between before or after or on um, clips, go back to it, click on the clip that you want to mess around with. You can have a title before that selected clip that you clicked on, on the selected clip or after it. And you can also have credits at the end. I don't recommend the credits there, and I'll just stick to the title at the beginning. It's a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just going to pretty much have a title select the clip. Thanks for watching. Just make this short and easy. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Pretty easy. Don't have to out to move it. It's at the end. Okay, so I'm not. I'm trying to get this video less than ten minutes. Um, it's probably gonna have to go over a bit. So that's basically that. So I've gone through all the titles and credits. I've gone through all the video effects, your transitions, how to import your videos. Done. Okay, so basically watch it through to see what you think. So I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. So uh, yeah. Um. If you want to, oh, I also uh, mention this. If you want to, if, if you want to put audio music in the background over the other audio, so for example, if you've recorded some gameplay footage and you've got audio from the gameplay, but you don't want that, you want other music. Click on the audio from the gameplay. It's got to be on this bit here. Click mute on them all. Um, if you can't group them, 
and then you've muted all them and you can only hear the music. Um, if you there is a way to group your clips, but it only works for a couple. For example, if you import, if you've just imported a video and it comes out in separate clips like this one, you can click on one of the clips and like for example if it's all highlighted like that. Click on one of the clips, click Control A, and then Control M. It doesn't work now, but it will work for the, if you've just up there, transferred that clip. Um, so yeah, that's how to group them as well. That's pretty much best clear uh, for the time being. Um, here's clip play to see what you think of the video. Blah 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 blah. Change transitions and everything, and you're practically done. Um, that's pretty much it. So you just made yourself a video. All you need to do now is click File, Save Move File Ads, or if you're on Vista 7 or whatever it is, Publish Mover. If it's anything else, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you click on that. Save it to my computer, obviously. Next, type in the name. Somewhat random. Choose a place. You browse anywhere, anywhere down here. I want to sit to my videos. You click Next. You can have show more ch choices, but I just did the best quality and then click Next, and it'll save it. And then I click that. You're pretty much done. You just click next, wait for it to do, finish it. Then you'll have the option of up uh, watching your video or not watching it. Just check over and check the box. If you check if you tick it, you'll watch it. If you don't check, tick it, you won't watch it. And then you just click finish. And that's basically how to work. Uh, a lot of stuff you can do. I don't know what I did that. A lot of stuff you can do with this um, Windows Movie Maker. Although I stick to rigs pretty much of the time. Yeah, I only do this for the clips. Um, and I got that off my mate by the way. Anyway, so this is Windows Movie Maker tutorial, tips and hints, stuff like that. Um, knocking on 12 minutes, I'm going to cancel it now. This is for our mate, I hope he um, learned something out of it. If anybody gets confused on anything or you want to know how to do something different that I didn't mention in the video, please post in a comment and I will try and figure out what you're about trying to tell me. Uh, one last very quick thing, go to, if you go to tools and go to options, um, you go to advanced video format NTSC PAL 16 by 9 4 by 3 letterbox mode not letterbox mode I'm going to stick to 16 by 9 and click OK and it's done um, go back and just go to 4 by 3 that's what it turns it into so that's just something else for you to know ok so that's everything guys like I said post a comment if you've got any problems and I will see you in the next video guys peace out um, I guess